Billabong stock is making big waves. It surged 45% on talks of a takeover. And for more, well, let's cross over to Sydney, where Dan Petrie has the details. And Dan, well, TPG Capital offering a big premium for Billabong. Well, Carolyn, they're offering a big premium, and I couldn't help but notice your surfing pun there, suggesting that uh, the shares are riding away. They're currently at $2.60. They're up 43% uh, for the day. But if you look at their stock price over the last five years, to use a surfing phrase, it has been a wipeout. And TPG, according to a number of analysts, already said uh, that at $3, it's actually an opportunistic buy, really based on the fact that Billabong's been one of these uh, big success stories uh, in the surfwear market. But the one thing with the surfwear market, it's actually uh, in terms of there's a lot of trends and uh, people's tastes tend to move on very quickly. So it has suffered over the years and reported a number of disappointing results. But TPG Capital, the offer at $800 million plus has been received very, very well by the market with the expectation they may even have to uh, bid a little bit more to acquire the Australian surfwear maker. But it has suffered a lot because really it's one of those things with uh, this restructure they've now announced. If TPG was to acquire Billabong, they'd probably have to strip out even more jobs and refine their business further. But they have looked at streamlining their operations, Caroline. And digging deeper into that streamlining of operations, Dan, Billabong have said they're going to cut headcount and close stores. Well, the threat therefore is it from online businesses and they're being felt therefore by your traditional or well, bricks and mortar retailers well it's an ex excellent point you raised there because increasingly that is a, an issue we are seeing more and more in this country at the moment that the threat of online retailing is becoming more viable for people they're opting to go online they're opting to buy purchases there they're looking at value with those products and that is the one thing bricks and mortar face a very very difficult proposition with a, a, again a new competitor that being in the online space so some opportunism coming from TPG Capital at the moment. Dan Petrie, thank you.